Chapter 6, Lesson 1, Settling the Middle Colonies. What to know? Why did people from different places and backgrounds settle in the middle colonies? Identify the location of the middle colonies and the people who founded them. Describe how religion affected the middle colonies. Vocabulary on Quizlet. Refuge, proprietor, trial by jury, justice. People will read about King Charles II, Peter Stuyvesant, William Penn, Temenant, places, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, the middle colonies. Here's King Charles II. You are there. The year is 1660 and King Charles II has asked you to study a map of the English colonies with him. The king is pleased with the colony's performance. In the north, New England is producing plenty of lumber. And in the south, Virginia's tobacco plantations are bringing him great wealth. The problem lies here right in the middle, says the king, with that Dutch colony in the way. Fort Orange, built near where Albany, New York now stands, began as a Dutch trading post. Section 1 the bread basket colonies use that as a heading for your notes in the left column and can you turn it into a question what were the bread basket colonies what should i know about the bread basket colonies and what attracted settlers to the bread basket colonies let's read while the Puritans were settling New England, other groups were setting up colonies to the south. This region, which included what are now, what are today, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania, came to be known as the Middle Colonies. The region was given this name because of its relative location between the New England colonies to the north and the southern settlements in Virginia to the south. So what's in the middle? the Middle Colonies. When Europeans arrived in the Middle Colonies, they saw flat plains, rolling hills, grassy meadows, and thick forests. They discovered that when this land was cleared of trees and rocks, it was much better for farming than the land in New England. They also found, they also found that the climate was good for growing crops different than New England. The summers were long and the amount of rain each year was just right for crops such as wheat, corn, and rye. The middle colonies produced so many crops used in making bread that they came to be called the bread basket colonies. In addition to fertile land, land where it's easy to grow things, in addition to fertile land, the region had several large harbors near the Atlantic Ocean. Settlers found that these harbors were connected to many of the region's deep rivers, such as the Hudson and Delaware rivers. These rivers stretched far inland. Settlers knew these deep waterways would allow large ships to travel to inland settlements making trade with the colonists there easier. All of the special features of this region attracted many different settlers. So what attracted settlers to the middle colonies? Our next section, New Netherland Grows. New Netherland grows. How does New Netherland grow? Why does New Netherland grow? What do we need to know about the growth of New Netherland? 
Why did few people from the Netherlands settle in New Netherland? The Dutch continued to control New Netherland, which included the Hudson Valley and surrounding lands. However, few people came to the colony because their country, the Netherlands, was wealthy and offered its citizens many freedoms. As a result, by 1640, only about 2,000 people lived in the colony, and most of them in New Amsterdam. The colony was also troubled. Settlers had conflicts with American Indians and nearby English colonists over land. The Dutch West India Company, which controlled the colony's trade, decided that a new leader was needed to raise their profits and bring order. In 1647, it sent Peter Stuyvesant, a former soldier, to govern the colony. In the, in the 1650s, Stuyvesant expanded New Netherland into what is now New Jersey. Then he pushed south into what is now Delaware, taking over the small colony of New Sweden in 1655. New Netherland now controlled more land, but it still did not have enough people to be successful. To increase New Netherland's population, the Dutch West India Company allowed people from Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Spain, and Brazil to settle in the colony. Among these newcomers was one of the first groups of Jews to settle in North America. Africans also lived in New Netherland. Most were captured and brought to the colony as slaves, the first arriving in 1626. Not all Africans in New Netherland were slaves. Some were able to buy their freedom. Yet former slaves were not completely free. Each year, they had to pay their employers in money or goods in order to remain free. Why did, min why did few people from the Netherlands settle in New Netherland? Peter Stuyvesant left New Netherland after the colony's surrender, but he later returned and lived in New York for the rest of his life. 